Hello, as he said, I'm Audrey. Um, and I am indeed here to talk to you about Caligator. So you have probably encountered Caligator at least once because I know it's on the opening slides here. But just to review, uh, Caligator is a calendar. It's a place where you find events. Caligator is also a calendar platform, which is to say that a lot of different kinds of events are on there from different sources. Caligator is a community calendar platform. Uh, you may have noticed that there are a lot of different kinds of communities that post their events on here. Cal Caligator is also an open source community calendar platform. What that means is that our code is freely available and that we have licensed it under an open source license. Caligator is also a Ruby on Rails app. And on top of that, it's a Ruby on Rails engine, which uh, you know is a thing that we did and I haven't used a lot of other Rails engines, so I still don't know if we're doing it right. Uh, Caligator, on top of all those things, Caligator is 10 years old, which is a pretty long time for a Ruby on Rails app. And because of all those things, um, what I'd like to talk about is just sort of where the project is. Uh, I think you may already have a sense of how it's used, at least in Portland, but to talk a little bit just about, um, I don't know, some of the more details. So this is Caligator.org. Um, it is the website that the Portland Tech community uses for Caligator. It is uh, an instance of the Caligator software using that engine and a Rails app wrapper. So a lot of these things haven't changed. I mean, the events do, but the site itself has stayed in a relatively similar state uh, for a while. A lot of development paused about two years ago. And so there are a number of things that are exactly the same as they were two years ago, and it works. I mean, it's stable, it works. Uh, it turns out that you do not need a lot of bells and whistles in order to let people put events on here, um, to let people import events uh, from Meetup mostly, but I think there's also a few other formats you can pick from, uh, to go through and browse events, put things on here, to use the tag search. Oh, now it's slow. <laughs> there we go, Ruby. You know, and uh, there are groups like this that use tags to actually to identify what they're doing. And so all of these things, you know, are happening here. And there's um, this sidebar all the way over here to help you do more things. Um, but in terms of the code, we're on GitHub now. We started out on Google Code using Subversion, and uh, this is the new wave, or so I hear. Uh, this is where code goes these days. Um, you know, so if you wanted to, you could go to this uh, lovely code repository, you could have a look. Um, you could see for yourself the code, which again, a lot of it's a very standard Rails app, but we do have some particular things here for importing those events and exporting those events. Uh, you could have a look at our bug tracker, which I have only recently gone back through and tried to tag things, but some of these bugs are still bugs. Um, it is also possible for you to make a pull request. Mm -hmm. And if you're sort of interested in, well, how do I go about doing that pull request thing, we have a contributors file that explains, oh no, contributing, it's different, contributing file that explains some things about how you could get started with that. Uh, Caligator has a code of conduct, which is very similar to the Portland Ruby Brigade code of conduct. Um, and then the other piece of it is this caligator.org repo which really is probably what should be up here in the header where it says get involved code, um, the actual Rails wrapper for this particular site. But similarly, it has you know all those usual things of code and issues and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have a wiki. The wiki um, kind of, I think, no, we got partway through updating the wiki in 2015 apparently. Um, I've also been looking at this recently. And we have a lot of uh, contributors that have really put in time on this over time. And what we consider to be a Caligator contributor is people, um, people who showed up code sprints, people who wrote code, people who tested code, people who pair programmed on code, people who designed things, people who asked questions, people who told us how their community uses Caligator. And all of those kinds of people are on our contributors list, and you could be too. Um, I have been starting to identify some priorities for working on Caligator now to um, rev things up again and 
work on some of the kinds of things that uh, community members have asked for. And in order to do that, I forgot to open a tab. In order to do that, I set up a Patreon. And I had been avoiding Patreon for a long time, but you know, I hear it's a good thing for this. So um, the kinds of things that I'm hoping that we're going to work on now are about both um, making sure that Caligator.org is a stable platform for the Portland tech community over time, and making it possible for more people to contribute um, in terms of working on the deployment process, the contributing process, the documentation, uh, making sure that the tests pass, something I've been working on. Um, and then to look at the kinds of things that other communities need. You know, they need a good deployment process. They need obvious steps to take. They need a contributor guide that makes sense for them. They need to know how to put together that Rails wrapper or not to, but what to do then if they haven't ever done a Rails app. So uh, we're starting to do that. Um, this is really just a big sales pitch. And I don't mean like you can give money to the Patreon, that's great, but it's more a sales pitch like tell people that Caligator is still an active project. Tell people that it would be great to do a code sprint and then get yourselves a code sprint organized. Um, tell me about what you want to work on. Uh, there are a couple of smaller things that I have in mind and a couple of big things. There's a very big thing um, in that a lot of communities outside of Portland that we've talked to really want to see time zones happen, which is not just the server time zone, but the events to have their own time zones and the users to have their own time zones. And this is a slightly more complicated thing than it sounds like at first glance. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to show you kind of where we are, where we've been, and uh, hopefully, you know, have some excitement. Yes? Are there issues that new Rubyists can work on? I don't know. <laughs> are there issues that new Rubyists can work on? I don't know. I suspect that it will be hard uh, if you don't have somebody else to work with right now because there are a lot of things that need to be identified, including the development environment set up. And so um, some of these things aren't hard programming problems. They're more about documentation and asking questions. And uh, new Rubyists would be great at asking questions. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, Caligator has uh, over time served as a really great first commit for people who haven't worked on an open source project together with, um, in general, but also together with other people. Uh, it is absolutely something you can put on your resume. Um, one of the ways that I'm hoping that we'll expand our efforts is also doing more mentoring in that way. And uh, if you, you, know, you make a pull request, we accept it, you put your name in the contributors file, I am happy to tell the people that you are playing for jobs with that you did that thing. Anything else? Okay, cool, well thank you and feel free to come talk to me afterward. <laughs>